Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head and face shave, using a new razor. This actually came across, it's been around for a long time, but I've never really been too interested in it. I've had the skin guard, I've had a few other carts, but I normally stick to the skin guard now to be fair. I don't even use the head blade anymore. But this came across, I had a bit of a recommendation to use it. Now this is a different packaged branding of it. It's called the Defender. This one is from Bombay Shaving Company. I'm not quite sure who the original Defender is, but I'm pretty sure this is just rebranded. It looks like it has the same cartridge system. And on the back, that's pretty much all it says there. I don't know whether you can read that or not. But it's the same old stuff. You know, it doesn't matter what cartridge you pick up these days. Eliminates nicks, cuts, razor bumps and irritation. Cuts hair cleanly, promoting uniform hair growth. Single cartridges can deliver up to 15 high quality shaves. And then I think on the other side, it's got two-way pivot, anti-clog, easy rinse, independent suspension, no pulling or tugging, embedded safety guards and slim design to reach under the nose. It says all that on there. That says all that on there. Packaging wise, it's all right. It's, it's all cardboard. I don't think there's actually any other than the razor itself. You know, it's got a little booklet in there. It's well presented. I love the colours. This is pretty much my two favourite colours matched together. So it works well. Black's not really a colour, is it? I don't really know. But black and sort of aqua blue. Really, really nice colours. A little booklet, which once again tells you how fantastic the razor is, how amazing it works. And it's got a bloke on the back here, you know, he's shaved like the cleanest amount of hair off that you've ever seen in one stroke. But Nice packaging. Now, there is the razor. It is pretty much all plastic with a bit of, well, I'm assuming it's all plastic, but it's got like a silicon rubber coating all over it. I mean, grip wise, it is phenomenally grippy. So I'm imagining even when it's wet, it's still going to be grippy. A little gray plastic line down here, it's just hard plastic, nothing to grip onto. But the rest of the black, everything that's black here is sticky or grippy, including the little silicon thing. Now, I'm assuming this just pops on your mirror, like so. You can't see it, but it's on my mirror, I can assure you. Oh, it's pretty sucky, sucky, sucky. No shirt on today. You know, some, some people find that a bit weird, not wearing a shirt or wearing a shirt, vice versa, you can't really win. I've just shaved my head, that's why. I had about 15 days growth or something. It's far too much for this razor, and it says no clogging, but there's no way it's knocking down half an inch of hair. My hair was a disgrace. I looked like a right bogan. But anyway, there's a little, actually, there's a bit of weight to this razor. It's not super heavy, but there's a nice bit of weight in the handle. If you just clip this off here. There's your little protective cover there. And there is your cartridge. Or is it? There we go. Come on. So, it looks rather simple, there's not too much to it. Now this does bend that way, as you can see it's supposed to bend around your neck and things when you're using it. But it looks pretty good, it feels pretty good, it's well designed I think. I mean there's a few little things, things that I don't like, I mean it's obviously injection mouldy, see if we can get that to... I don't know why I put my hand up, I forget this camera's so good when it's on form. Just this little dot right here, where it's just a bit of silicon's mouldy and it's just left a little bit of a mark. That annoys me. You know, it's, we live in a world of technology where little things like that should be gone. Maybe that's just the perfectionism in me, though, the terrible perfectionism. The Racer Rock Hulk. I haven't used this brush in a very, very long time. Head and face shave today, I thought, why not? Grooming department. Soap. I love the smell of this. It's been a... It's, you know what? I'm talking away and I, I, I take my mind off things. The Maple Leafs had the final game today against Tampa Bay. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've watched every game this season, whether it be live, most of them live, some of them replays, but I've watched every game, including all the playoff series. Brilliant series, but they went down 4-3 this morning, this morning here. They, they played the best, you know, and I, they, they played well. They just didn't go over the line, and that's the sad reality of it. I didn't think Tampa were anything special today, but I think the goalkeeper had a blinder. And in that regard, I also think that Campbell... For the Maple Leafs, had a great game as well. I've just, what am I doing? Just taken all the bloom water and stuck it in my brush. Let's just put the rest on my head. It's not a lot here now. Don't know what I was thinking then. 
Well, at least it's all in the brush then. Right, here we go, let's start getting ladders. So that has been a very exciting, turbulent, enjoyable time for me. I'm back playing ice hockey, I'm back watching ice hockey. I'm back watching the Leafs again after like 20 odd years, you know. So it's been a long, long time since I've actually been involved in hockey in any form. So just to get back on the ice again, playing again, and, and to get back watching it and having a hunger for it. But I must say, a seven game series, I've never been so nervous in all my time watching sport, any sports. I absolutely loved it. And albeit that they're out now, and I, I'm devastated. Uh, yeah, honestly, I can't. I've been in a horrendous mood all day. It's killing the wife, it's annoying the kids, and I, I can't get out of it. It's, sport plays such a major part in my mental health and my happiness, I suppose, how I feel. If, I, if my team wins, I'm happy. If they lose, I, I feel like I suffer. And a lot of people that don't watch sports or aren't into sports, they don't get that. And my wife being one of them. So it's very, very difficult to convey your emotions to someone that has absolutely no vested interest in sport or in such, probably in my case, really in anything. She doesn't really have any hobbies, she doesn't follow any sports, she just sort of tags along with whatever I do and whatever the kids do. And I can assure you it's not through lack of trying to get her to do something. Oh, that's just the way it is. Six and a half minutes and I've done nothing. So here we go, look at that. Whew. I can't remember how big the knot is in this. Is it 33 millimetres or something? It's, it's absolutely massive. Now, I am not going to create a wonderful glowing beast of a ladder. Because I'm using a cartridge, so I don't really need it. What I do know is the soap smells fantastic. I think the scent on this is a Shepra. I absolutely love it. I think this is great. It reminds me a lot of Barrister and Man. I can't even remember. Oh, just Shepra. I think it was Barrister and Man Shepra, was it? I think there was actually another one in the front. But I can't remember. I can't get it on top of my head now. Grom Sheepra, there you go. Reminds me of that. Very similar scent profile in terms of quality of soap. Also both excellent soaps, but this one has stayed in the den, the Grom Sheepra has not. And as you can see, it's building a beautiful ladder. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to mess about anymore. I don't think I need to. I just want to get these knocked out and go back to wallowing in self pity. <laughs> but I'll be back next year, I can assure you, to watch. I'll still be playing next year, hopefully. Fitter than I've been this year. I'm saying this year, it's actually. Did I say this year or next year? I get no idea. Next season, let's go that way. I don't think, well, I say I don't think Tampa Bay will win the whole thing. I still st strongly fancy the Avalanche. But they got through a very tough series against the Maple Leafs. I think the Maple Leafs are one of the best teams in the, the league all season. And it was, they tried well. No, they did well. Right, one thing I've noticed with this race, eh? it's a bit odd. The, the, where the head is here, this runs sort of parallel with the handle. Almost, not perfectly, but so it's almost like a, it's sort of built for head shaving. So I'm just going to go against it. In fact, let me, I'll do one with the green just to make sure it feels okay. That didn't feel, that did not feel brilliant. It feels not rough, it just feels, I mean it's kind, but I don't think, the way that blade feels there, I couldn't shave straight against the grain with the amount of hair I've got, I don't think. I will try it, let me just see what it feels like. That wasn't too bad. And it doesn't appear, well maybe it does actually, it looks like it's, it is clogging a little bit, not much but a little bit. And it could be the soaps just a little bit too thick. And if you can see on my face I've got a fair amount of growth on here. I think it's going to struggle to be honest with you, it's definitely going to struggle with that amount of hair. 
Yeah, I mean, you can see there. Come on. Just on that middle blade. It's not happy. So, so far, I, I'm, I'm not enjoying the feel of it. It feels a little bit... Is it tugging and pulling? I wouldn't say it's tugging and pulling, it's... feels like old blades, that's what it feels like a blade that's on its way out, it doesn't feel like a brand new blade, that's that's the feeling that I get from it. I think it's just a little bit too dry this lather, which isn't helping. I could have done a little bit more moisture in there I think. Now one thing I will say for this razor, the grip on it is great, it is, I mean this is mega grip. It's one of the things you sacrifice when you get a double edge razor in a lot of the times. You sacrifice the grip. But we'll see how it goes anyway over the course of the shave. It does say to press gently with it, which I'm trying to do. But it just it feels very odd. You can shave fast with it, it's got a nice angle to it for that sort of holding on the, the razor. I'm just going to empty the sink and just put a bit of water through it, see if I can get some of the stuff out of it. It definitely clogged up, there's no doubt about it. Now I had probably, the amount of hair that was on my head I would say would be about five days growth. <coughs> Something like that. Rinsed out. Okay, yeah, not, not great. I'll see if I can show up on the camera. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. But if you just look to the bottom of each blade, hopefully. Come on. Doesn't want to do it. You might be able to just see the hairs there. You might not. Anyway, let's just pop a little bit more lather on. And let's do some against the grain, see how we go. My skin feels a little bit raw as well, to be fair. It is a new razor, so I don't expect perfect shave first time. Sometimes you have to figure these things out and, and give them more than one go. Certainly rinsed out better that time. It's got a lot of feedback, it makes a lot of noise. Which is in some ways, quite a good thing, because when I'm not feeling it, and I'm not hearing it, then it's, it's generally what that means, it's, it's got rid of the hair, and there's none left, so. Major fan. For me, the skin guard is just a far better feeling razor. But for eight dollars for four cartridges, which I purchased as well, you can't really go wrong. And it's doing an okay job, and so far. I don't think there's any blood, there might be a bit of blood there, but I can't tell. My skin just feels a little bit raw, if I'm honest. I'm just going to just pop a bit of lather there. Wipe my hand, what are we on? 15 minutes, I've hardly done anything. 
Oh yeah, that slipness is beautiful. I mean, I'll give it one thing. It's not the most comfortable shave, but it is one hell of a close shave. Like that's that is BBS all the way. Now it's supposed to have little. I don't know. Does it say lubricating strips? I can't. Where's the box? Embedded safety guard. So there's no. I don't think there's any lubricating strips on this. What this has got feels like. Little bits of softened rubber or little bits of silicon. So at the top of the blades, where you would normally have like a lubrication strip on each blade, or at the top here, it's just like a bit of, it's not even soft, is it? I mean, oh no, is it below? I don't know. There's no lubrication on it anyway. So you, you are relying on your soap. It's not a razor that I would buy and then use just a shitty canned gunk with. Like that there, I know if I'm using the, sh the skin guard, I'm going to get a little bit of protection just from the skin guard as well. But that's, do you know what? I'm quite happy with that really. That could have been a whole lot worse than what I thought it was going to be, and really it's turned out to be, I don't know whether you can see that sort of red patches starting to come out. My skin's definitely red raw. It is, it is turning. <laughs> so what I think's happened is probably just pushed too hard. Thinking that the razor isn't really cutting much, it doesn't feel like it's doing much, but it's doing way more than what I think it is. So I may have caused myself a bit of an issue. I've definitely got some blood spots, definitely 100% but quite a few. But anyway, let's move on to the face. Terrible ladder. I'm not in the mood to create a better one. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a bit of pain there. So here we go. There's a lot of growth on my face here. Let's see how it goes. So you can see there's a lot here on there. I'm shaking the water. How are we looking? Not too bad. Tell you right now, it's not comfortable. It's it's reasonably comfortable. So I'm not, I'm not going to bash the razor right now. It's just far too heavy growth for pretty much. The, the, the skin gap wouldn't deal with this. The fusion wouldn't deal with it. 
but the blades don't feel anywhere near as sharp as a Gillette blade. Feather Artist Club. This is the same blade I put it back. Oh no, is it not? This isn't. This is a P30, I think. Shit, P30. Now, it won't be helping the fact this is a zero prep shave as always. Wonderful blades, wonderful razors these things. I much much prefer them over straights, the blades are better. Just a, an excellent, smooth, comfortable shave, easy to hold, easy to maintain, no bullshit razor. To the defender and just see how it does. Doesn't really get under the nose. But definitely close there. So, I just rinse off. Long video, sorry. Should have really been a head shave and a face shave.
Right. Oh, do you know what? I can't really. Oh, you can hear that squeak. <laughs> That's the, the sort of rubber protection <laughs> valve. Right. Full stop. And you can see it all. Looks pretty angry. Like I say, it's a new razor. First time ever using it. I don't think it's a razor for knocking down a lot of growth. I really don't. I think it's a razor for maybe every two days of daily maintenance, shaves. And I think it'd be perfect for that. We'll see how my skin pulls up over the next day or two. Right, let's just have a splash of some witch hazel. What's this one? A bit of lemon. I haven't used lemon in a while, look what peach one is. So, the Defender. What's my thoughts on it? I think the packaging looks pretty good. I think overall the razor itself looks pretty good. I don't think it's, a, it's an ugly razor. I, don't, I think it's, it looks all right, you know? Obviously, it doesn't do well with soap scum, but it looks okay. You can see the blades are real, pretty close to being clean in terms of shaking out. I think using it on my face and giving it a good heat in the hot water has helped clear it out. It's comfortable to hold. It's got an odd sort of angle on the head. It was, I don't know. I mean, it does have a lot of, there's a lot of movement in that. You know, that's, that's a lot of movement. I mean, to take it off as well, you just sort of push that up a little bit and it just slides out the slot. Click it back in. It's held in quite well. The shave, look, the, the shave didn't feel great. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was on the long hairs, but on my head and on my face, it wasn't uncomfortable while shaving. But the finish, I mean, it's bloody close. Really close, you know what I mean? Uh, that's a hell of a BBS shave for me. I mean, even here, it's, it's a little bit on my chin. The camera always looks worse. In the mirror, looks great. Looks like I've had a great shave in the camera. The camera picks up everything. It looks like I haven't even shaved yet. Yes, it's a strange one. It's a strange razor. Doesn't feel great. It's not in the same quality in terms of the handle and cartridges and blades as the skin guard. But it does a job. It does a pretty good job. Like that. Now this isn't the sensitive skin cartridges, this is the standard. They do do a sensitive one. So if you've got sensitive skin like I do, I would definitely recommend that given that I can feel that my skin has taken a bit of a hammering. I haven't shaved for a while, so that doesn't help. So if I shave every two or three days, it should be better. So I'll give this razor another crack. In two or three days and we'll see how it fares probably what day we are now sunday maybe tuesday we'll have a crack at it on tuesday and see how it goes but anyway hope you enjoyed that all you leaf fans out there i know how you feel it's horrible well done tampa bay yeah. celtic also won the league but it's funny how getting back into hockey is taking me a little bit away from football soccer from wherever you come from so celtics won the league rangers have lost the league rangers are in the cup final for europe and the scottish cup next week I hope they do well. I hope I really do. I hope they win this. I hope they win in Europe. I hope they beat Roma. It's you know any any win for Scotland is a win for Scotland, whether it be Rangers or Celtic, and I'm big enough and bad enough to cop that. And I hope they do well. So any Rangers supporters that watch the, the channel, then good luck on Wednesday and good luck on Sunday as well. And other than that, it wasn't too bad, was it? Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.